Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Today we are going to take a look at the topic of limerence. I think the topic as I have it on my screen is limerence. Is it time to get real about love? Now, why did this topic come up? Well, limerence is something I've been studying a bit thanks to the work of Anna Runkle. Anna Runkle is known on the internet as the crappy childhood fairy and she is just a lady who figured out a whole lot of stuff about how to heal herself and how to heal her life and particularly how to heal her love life. And I've been benefiting from the work of Anna Runkle, it's amazing. And she has many videos on limerence. I will include one of the videos she has on limerence below. But I've watched a series of them and in one of the videos she mentioned how I think it was a client of hers had a sibling who got addicted to tarot readings and this person got addicted to tarot readings because the tarot readings kept fueling hope in the person that this relationship was going to work out and yeah I felt that you know tarot is that kind of thing where it can be fueling false hope and that's not a good thing and so what I want to do through a tarot reading is is not fuel any false hope but to see okay where do we need to get real where, where do we need to be more grounded where do we need to be more present and it could be to do with love life it could be that you know perhaps you keep looking at someone's Instagram or Facebook or something like that you keep looking at that for signs I know I've certainly done that I have done this thing where I've gone to a person's Facebook page which I do not do anymore thanks to a friend of mine who is a coach I have the best friends in the world basically I and I'll, I'll let her know I'm recording this one and tell her that I'm mentioning her she's amazing and I think it was last November or December we had quite a bit of a chat about me and how I was going to check on this someone's Facebook page for clues and this and that and she had to get real with me she had to say look when you know when was the last time this person ever addressed you by name and I thought well yeah I don't think this person has you know They're like well certainly not well maybe yeah one or two times on an email but that's it and she was like well has this person ever texted you I was like no have they called you no and yeah in her incredible way she was able to make me see that you're just you're just caught up in some fantasy thinking there's nothing there and she was absolutely right and so as of last November December I just kind of stopped going on Facebook altogether and I haven't gone and I haven't looked at you know any of the old friends or any of the the people I know there and I hardly go on Facebook anyway I don't really like it I don't really like it as a platform so I barely go on there but yeah I thought let's explore this topic because you know thanks to things like lockdown and and all these kind of things it is perfectly normal to you know you go and check on someone but you kind of know you shouldn't be checking on them kind of thing right there's that there's that and I think that kind of thing is probably not not a great thing to do I know that and, and so I therefore don't do that kind of thing um, but we've got my Saturn deck here and Saturn is a planet of getting real so what I'll probably do is we'll draw more from the Saturn deck today and we'll see what's going on limerence could also be about work as well it could be about kind of delusions of grandeur or wanting power or wanting to attract people or wanting you know to win awards and things like that like that can be a limerent fantasy as well so we'll see what comes up in the cards guys feel free as always to choose from group one group two or group three and I'll see you in your reading hi there group one if you chose group number one then you are in the right place let's take a look and see we'll use this uh, animal spirit deck and see if there is someone who turns up we'll draw one for you okay that's going to be you you've got the B and we'll draw a card for your someone let's see if there's someone that you wonder about or are limerent about and we'll see 
where you need to get real. We'll see what comes up. I'm kind of curious or interested to see what's going on. If there is someone that you wonder about or if there is, you know, any of that type of thing. Take one from the Saturn deck for each. And who knows, maybe, maybe this kind of reading, nothing much will come up at all, you know, and maybe this will be a bit more of a straight read. Let's see, let's just see. Kind of curious. And why don't we just take one from here and then we'll take more as we need to. Let's have a look. Hmm. This is for you. There we go. <laughs> Took a while. We got there. I hope you're having, oh, that's quick. Hope you're having a good week wherever you are. Okay, let's take a look. So you are the bee. You're working hard. Is there someone or something that you, your thoughts keep going to? This is interesting. This could be, this could be a limerent fantasy. This could be something where, you, yeah, your mind keeps going to someone who is represented by the lion. This could be something where you are working hard, wanting to grow to become something and perhaps your thoughts drain into the fantasies of who and what you're going to become okay and see that's nice and we need a bit of that we do need a little bit of that we need dreams on the horizon we need things to reach for and you know we do need to fantasize a bit it's a good thing but if your time is being drained in there you're then actually not building your life, you see. So the whole fantasy thinking thing can be a real time drain. And time is ticking, life is moving forward. So it's quite interesting. All right, let's take a look, see what we've got here. The hermit. Okay, so you have been doing your own thing. You have been on your own, perhaps for some time. And I think Saturn, if we're looking from Saturn's point of view, I think he's, he's saying that that's a good thing. You've been being true. You've been being real. You've been being on your own. You've been being honest. And when it comes to, say, for example, love life, you have been on your own. And that has been good for you and that's been needed. So that's great. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, this one doesn't want to be seen. Wow. All right. Queen of Swords. Yeah, interesting. If you are in some kind of limerent situation with a, another person where you think about them, uh, this person might be kind of unavailable. So if you watch Anna Runkle's video where she talks about emotional unavailability, this person might have their boundaries up. Whenever I see this Queen of Swords, I always think of boundaries. She's got strong boundaries. She has no problem in saying no. She has no problem in protecting herself, you know. So if you are in some kind of limerent situation where you're thinking about someone and you're wondering if they're thinking about you, this person could, could well be aloof, alone, unavailable, emotionally unavailable. You might perceive them as being very powerful and that might be appealing. But are they there for you in the now, in the here and now? Sometimes we have to get practical about that, get real about that. Let's see what we've got here. Eight of Cups. Yeah, this is, this is a card that's asking you to walk away. Walking away. Let's have a look what we've got here. The moon. Yeah. This person themselves, they are in a very re reflective space. Very reflective space. 
And there's a, there's a lot of mm, the lion moves alone, right? Leo the lion, Leo the lion, lion, lion is alone. Leo the leader, the leader is at the top. The leader is alone. There's a lot of kind of mm, if this is some kind of limerent relationship type thing where you've been wondering about someone that, you know, and, and her uncle talks about un unrequited love. She talks about, you know, how, yeah, you can be wondering about someone, but, but they're not particularly wondering about you or they're very much doing their own thing. This kind of has that feel where, but I think you are, you are in a phase of, you're wanting to walk away here. Let's take another card. Oh, let's take one of these. Yeah, let's see what's going on here. Okay. And one for the other person. Rigidity. Yeah. That is interesting. And power, look at that. Wow. And you know, this you might be perceiving this person in this way. You might I think you might there might be someone in your world that you're putting up on a pedestal, but they might not be all these things. You've got them here as a queen, lion, and they're really powerful. That is, that is a way that you're perceiving them to be. But are they really? Are they really all that you perceive? Let's take one more and then we'll draw a couple of... One more card from here and then we'll take a couple of quotes. See what comes through. Ace of Cups. Oh, so good. I'm so happy for you <laughs> because you've got this Ace of Cups come through. And that's very much saying to me that it's been a good experience for you to take interest in this person. But it's ideally you're wa you're walking away it's just an experience that's moving you closer towards true love right towards a love where it's not with someone who's unemotionally uh, emotionally unavailable god that's a what did i just say unemotionally well i suppose so but there's there is some cold energy coming from here for sure See what comes for them. Hmm. It's taking a while. Okay, that one. Two of coins. Wow. <laughs> They've got a little. Well, <laughs> it's a little hybrid. Hybrid babies here, how cute. But two of coins. I think they're busy. I think this person is busy. I think they're juggling a lot of things. And and they're really busy. It kind of, to me, it feels like... It feels like two parallel lines. It's like, will you guys, will you guys meet in the future or something? And that's the thing. I'm not necessarily seeing that. I'm seeing you moving towards true love and this experience of being interested in this person who's not available. This helps you. It helps get you a bit more on track, rigidity. You, it, you can benefit by being a bit rigid actually by being a bit more defined she's very defined she knows okay i want this i don't want that she's she's got a lot of definition 
and there's power, there's lion, you put this person up on a pedestal. She, it could be a she, a he, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, this could easily work for either gender, but this person is very defined. And what I'm seeing here, the guidance is for you that it'll be good for you to walk away because there's not much happening here. And with this rigidity, it'll be good for you to to become a lot more defined. Through being more defined about who you are and about what you want, you will come to this incredible cup of love, this Ace of Cups, this, this, this true love type situation. You're going to create that. But it's, it's the guidance here for you is you're working hard. You're doing all the right stuff. You're, you're being on your own. You're being true. You just need more edges, more definition, more what do you want? What do you want? Do you know what you want? You know, and that's something Anna Runkle does talk about. She talks about being really defined about what it is that you want in love. And I'm, you know, with me, that's the thing with the tarot reader. Tarot always gives a bit of hope, you know, like I, I'm never going to say it won't work with this person. I'm, I'm not going to say that. I just can't do it because I always believe things are possible. That's the thing. That's the trouble with, I don't know, being optimistic or whatever. Like you, you always think something's possible. Anything's possible. But for you, what's needed right now, I think, is to become more defined in yourself. And you, I suspect you probably need some more boundaries too. There's a lot of water here. You're very emotional. Uh, look at that. Swords and a major arcana. Yeah, there's some power here. And pentacles. This person's quite concentrated on building their business, their work, they're juggling, they're working hard. They're reflecting, but they're being isolated. They're alone. But they're kind of not in the mood for, like, you know, being with someone. I'm, that's what I'm getting. Let's have a look here. Comfort is a drug. Once you get used to it, it becomes addicting. Give a weak person consistent stimulation, good food, cheap entertainment, and they'll throw their ambitions right out the window. The comfort zone is where dreams go and die. At law of elevation. Yeah, I think that's true. I think this is this is turning out to be a little bit of a tough love. <laughs> I mentioned Anna Runkle, she's the tough love fairy, and that's what this reading is a bit tough love. This is true. And I think and that's where the definition is needed. That's where the rigidity is needed. It's like that's discipline. That's and that's knowing yourself and that's having boundaries, knowing your strengths, knowing your weaknesses, knowing your limits, you know. And then when you're very defined, you can kind of, you, you, it, the whole dating thing anyway, if we're talking about love, that becomes easier because, well, you know, you know who you are and then you won't waste time kind of thing. You won't waste your time or anyone else's time because you know your strengths, you know your weaknesses, you know what you want, you know what you want life to be. discipline yeah the rigidity is discipline here and this is this accurately describes the ketu rahu thing okay ketu is the comfort zone rahu north node so definitely look up north node in your chart where is your north node are you in that house working on the things of that house are you there that's going to be important All right. Let your kindness be like the rain that cares not not about whom it falls upon. Sorry, guys, I just had a little mind blank there. I thought there was a typo in my handwritten quote. Let your kindness be like the rain that cares not about whom it falls upon. Rumi. Yeah, absolutely. And you see, there is this walking away card. Nobody wants to do that, do they? Nobody wants to put up boundaries and mm, walk away. And that's hard. But sometimes you have to. And, and it, this, this is kind. It's kind to do this. It's kind to, 
to be on your own and to work on you and to define yourself some more. That's a kind thing actually. It's kind to you, it's kind to the other person as well. Group number one, I hope this has been a good reading for you. Let me know in the comments below how you get on. And if you do experience this limerence type thing, definitely watch Anna Runkle and see what she has to say about it. She's a really excellent counsellor, excellent healer, all that kind of thing. So thank you so much for tuning in and let me know how you get on in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. Now, before we draw from this, we're going to see if there's someone that you may have a limerent fantasy about. This is actually kind of a bit of a tricky topic <laughs> I'm discovering. I found in group one. I don't know. I didn't feel grounded there. That's you. Let's see how we go. Oh, and that's your person. All right. Okay, moth to a flame. Wow. Well, let's see what comes. Now, what's next? So I think I did... Let's draw from Saturn because he's the one that's all about getting real. So is there someone that you wonder? Like, And it is that kind of thing where maybe like in a relationship type setting or something happened and you think, oh, they're the one that got away or... I wonder if they think about me or it's it's that kind of thing but see some of all of that oh the five of cups we'll take it we'll take it we um sometimes that kind of thing if we're stuck on that then our heart is busy and we won't attract the real thing or the right thing you know like it's um can be like that and that's where Anna Runkle's videos are really helpful and I recommend her she's really great I've watched lots of her videos and she's really helped me kind of unpack and untangle lots of different things she's very very helpful and it's because she's done the work she's figured it all out herself I don't think she's a qualified therapist I'm not sure she's just she's she's just done the work basically if you do the work I mean you know, you don't need qualifications, right? If, you, <laughs> if you've healed and figured it out and just share it, thats I just think that's the best thing ever. Well, let's keep shuffling. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what's going on. So where are you? What's... what's really, oh, look at that. Turtle. Okay. So I guess if we're looking at this in a context of love and relationships. There's something about speed here because the turtle moves slowly and a moth moves quickly, right? A moth to a flame, whoosh, like, you know, they're ready to go kind of thing, but you may be slow. I mean, straight away we're getting an indication that we've got heartbreak here or, you know, you might feel that you are too slow Perhaps when you met this person, maybe they, they showed interest straight away, but you were slow to understand them or to show interest back or something along those lines, you know, and that, that's okay. That's natural. That happens. Let's see. Seven of Cups. Okay. Maybe you perceive that this person has lots of choices as well. That's another very natural thing that we do. We think... Well, they've got so many options. You know, why would they want to be with me? Queen of Swords. And that's the thing. I think you might be critical of yourself. You might be critical. Oh, we had a dog barking. Don't know if you heard that. Yeah, you, you're critical of yourself. Hard on yourself. Maybe you scrutinize yourself a lot. Wow, Ten of Cups. I'm kind of getting a sense of you perceived this person, perceived this person uh, as having it all maybe or that they've got a lot of options or, you know, I think one of the reasons this person may have been very attractive is because 
and it, this could be a limerent fantasy type thing where you think, wow, they would be amazing. They would be an amazing husband or wife or whatever, right? Like, yeah, this is quite interesting. Let's have a look. This has a different feel to group one as well. I don't know, group one, I was just so ungrounded there. <laughs> and I wasn't sure what I was doing. I hope it comes up together okay I'll watch it in the edit I'll know I've never had to re-record one of these thank goodness and these are all one takes like I just do one take and that's it and sometimes I'm like in the middle of a take I'm thinking oh no do I need to start again which of course I don't cosmic consciousness wow you're a romantic at heart group number two because this is Lord Krishna and look Look at all his girlfriends. He's playing music because he's so cool. And he has all these girlfriends. Like he's got heaps of girlfriends. <laughs> Look what's coming for this person. Wow, unity. I think you do kind of see this person as being a kind of complete package is what I, that was the first thing when I saw that I was just like, they're the complete package. Like this person has kind of a balance between masculine and feminine. And there's, it feels like there's no neediness here. Like, and that, this is how you perceive them. Okay. But you actually don't know the reality of what it is to be this person. They might actually have insecurities and all kinds of problems that you just don't know about but I, I feel like you're there's somebody in your world that you're seeing maybe with some rose-colored glasses because this is pretty amazing here and I think you're you are critical of yourself and perhaps and yes you're the, you're this incredible romantic but you're like well you know why why would they want to be with me they're so amazing but why would they want to be with me so we're going to take a look at this this is this is good because we're going to see for your healing we're going to see how you can what you need to do because it really doesn't matter <laughs> you know the outside is a reflection it's an illusion as well so who we attract in they're just reflections of what we've got going on in us at any given time and you might be wondering that well how can that be if I'm critical of myself and I don't feel fully confident about myself and I'm like I, I take my time and, and, and things like that how did I attract in this But this is where like our emotional state, sometimes we don't allow ourselves, ourselves to see ourselves as we truly are. Sometimes we see ourselves a bit less than what we are, you know? And I suspect that's what you might, like in, in reality, you're, you're great, you know? But like you might see yourself in a way where you don't see yourself that way. Hmm, interesting. Let's, let's draw a card for them. No one wants to be here. Wow, five of wands. See, that's competition. It's interesting, yeah. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, I'm so glad that came up. Wow, that's great. Because that's the reality. That's what I was feeling. I was feeling like the truth of what you're actually really amazing, but I think the way you see yourself inside is you may think a little bit less of your own self but you're this incredible romantic at heart and you you are a queen of pentacles you're you're you've got you're a regal person so whether you're a guy or a girl you know take the king or the queen whichever you want but you are this queen of pentacles you are that level being that is you And I think with this person, I think you're the person that you feel like they got away or you didn't get to have a full relationship with or you've got a limerent fantasy about them or whatever it is. I feel like you think that 
you were one of many options for them. I, th I think you think that they are so amazing, but then in reality, they might not actually be. <laughs> they might actually be just like a, a moth or something like, you know, because you're a turtle and turtles are incredible, right? Saturn has a connection with turtles and oh, turtles are beautiful but I, th I think you saw that you you to them and this is how much you like this person you saw that I'm just an option they've got so many options this person right and they've got it all going on that they've got their place and all this stuff together and maybe you love where they live or you know I don't know if you perceive them as having it all and I think you perceive them as being a very complete person and not needy. Because look at that unity. It's like they've got the masculine and the feminine all in one package. So they're, they're pretty complete. I think that's how you've been seeing this person that, you know, perhaps you like but never got to be with or something. And I think you also perceive that you would have had to compete with a lot of other people to be with them. And maybe that's what made you not confident that something about because yeah th this card here is suggesting like a lack of confidence that you didn't you didn't have confidence maybe and that maybe that's why you were slow on the uptake or slow to show them that you, hey I like you too something like that but know that you are this queen of pentacles okay and in time, I think the only little bit that you need to clean up or clear up is this Five of Cups and this Queen of Swords. So that's, don't be critical of yourself, don't be hard on yourself, and any old heartbreak energies, that's, that's going to clear away, you know, and um, and as for this person, I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't tell you what's going to happen. But do watch some of Anna Runkle's videos on limerence and see what, what she has to say. Because she's a great healer and, and she'll be able to help you. Like if you need to, if there's some old heartbreak to recover from, or she has a lot of excellent guidance actually about what to do and how to heal. I've watched so many of her videos and I learned so much from her. She's really great. Okay, he who cannot obey himself will be commanded. That is the nature of living creatures. Wow, Friedrich Nietzsche. Nietzsche? Is that how I pronounce that? And by the way, that K should be an H. I mistyped <laughs> as I was writing. Okay, so let's have a look here. He who cannot obey himself will be commanded. Mmm. But I, I feel like you, this is a discipline message right here. And I think you're getting on top of that. I think whatever this is, this is temporary, this is passing, any heartbreak energy, any, you know, any lack of confidence. That's how I'm going to read that. I think that's a lack of confidence there. And that kind of thing, I feel like you've got so much, these are all superb these four cards here just accept this one so I feel like you're doing this work I think you're upping your discipline you're building your life you're creating you're doing so I think this is just some kind of confirmation of keep building up your discipline yeah let's see what comes here Memento mori is Latin for remember that you will die. Gee, that's fun. <laughs> or remember that you are mortal. I wrote these on the weekend. I've kind of forgotten what's in here. Uh, death makes our lives important and meaningful. It creates priority and gives us the perspective to focus on what is important in our lives. Yeah, and I th again, I think this is something you know. And I think there's, a, there's great value in going slowly because I think this needs to be commended. If you feel that, oh, I should have been quicker with this person or I didn't express myself or I was too slow or no, it's good to be slow because it 
because I think the reason that you go slowly is it's a great thing. Don't feel, you see, because we've got Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah, I think you're a slow mover when it comes to love and that's brilliant. That's the better way to be. This person's a moth flame, they're flittering around, they've got a lot of options, a lot of competition for them, whatever. I mean, that's just, I don't know. This is the better way to be. And, and I think you know this. Remember that you will die. Remember that you are mortal. Death makes our lives important and meaningful. It creates priority. And I think the priority for now is actually you and you building your wealth, building yourself up, building your health. I think that's the priority. And you hold within you incredible, look at that. I mean, the, the romance and the moonlit nights and all the beautiful stuff. You hold that within your being and you will attract the right thing to you in time if you're single, okay? So don't feel bad. And I, I don't get a sense that you're unnecessarily draining your life energy into fantasy thinking. No, I don't think you're doing that. I think maybe every now and then maybe your mind might wander to this person. That's okay. Like, you know, that's fine. But there is a bit of a message of, of discipline here as well, of being disciplined with your, with your time, your life force, your energy, building up you, building your wealth up, building, you know, building your empire, right? And this, this other person, it's, this is fine, this is nice, but... And if you're looking back in the past and thinking, well, somebody got away, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Life is a big, long thing. And that's the other thing. See, as a tarot reader, I'm always positive, aren't I? I always think, I always think anything's possible. Guys, the camera's gone red, so thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know how you get on in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you're in the right place. Before we draw from this, we will take an animal spirit card. I don't know which way these go for one for you and one for maybe is there some person in your life that you have a limerent fantasy about? I tell you, this topic has not been easy. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see how it goes in the ratings. Okay, we have a snake. This is not a bad thing. We're going to take it. <laughs> I am shuffling for you, by the way. Snakes are beautiful. Snakes. They're everywhere in the nakshatra system, you know. They are absolutely everywhere. And in Indian mythology, they're really important. So I'm going to take one for you. I'm going to take another one for you, actually. Because that one just popped out. I'm going to take two. So another one for you. And so you're the only group that's getting two for you. So that's pretty amazing. We're off to a good start. And one for your person. I'll take that one. So if there's someone that you have like a limerent fantasy about, I realize that that's not everyone's life situation. But I wanted to do one of these episodes because I do also want to kind of promote even though like I don't get any kickbacks from this or anything but and she doesn't know I'm doing this but Anna Runkle's work is really really good and it's helped me a lot and I just want to push people to that and say look check out Anna Runkle's work if you have any limerent fantasies or any of that kind of thing because sometimes and that's it's it's a place where we drain our life force we drain our life force sometimes into fantasy thinking. Now, we need a bit of fantasy thinking, I think, because we need to have something to strive towards. Like, you know, you need to be excited about something in life. You need to, it's good to want something. It's good to go for something, isn't it? And if you don't have that, well, you know, I mean, if you don't have that, you're probably an enlightened being, <laughs> right? But... Most of us here on this planet, we all want to experience something or we want to love someone or we want to do something or we want to, you know, we have some desire, don't we? Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. This is a plane of desire. It really is. That's why we come because we have some desire, some unfinished thing. 
All right, let's see what's going on. So, do you have any limerent fantasies about anyone? Oh, the swan. Okay, so we've got the snake and the swan. We could be, you could be quite, a, you could be a bit of a dual type of um, sign or person. Interesting, because we've got two. So I could be speaking here with Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius or Pisces, all right? Those could be the people who are here. You might have a lot of dual energy in your chart somewhere, okay? So there's kind of there's two very interesting sides to you. Oh, wow, a tarantula, my goodness, okay. This is an exciting reading already. I'm liking it. Let's see what we have here. All right, that's in its reverse position. Good. I was almost about to flip that around, but with Saturn, I keep the reversals. Yes, Nine of Swords. We want this in this way. That's, that's good. Okay. Because the swords are coming out. Something you're healing from, clearing... It's over. There's something that's over. Page of Pentacles. Okay. Nice. Ten of Cups Harmony. Yeah. Yeah, there's something here that just... It's like I'm getting like pinched. There's something that just like came in and... But it's... That's over now. Nine of Wands Resilience. Okay. Let's get some more information. Which deck am I using this one? Actually, let's go for this. Okay, one of those and one of these. Right. So what do we have going on? And get organized. Oh. Okay. Fear. Kali Ma. Wow. Gee, that's that's quite a picture. Okay. We've got some real kind of spikes of energy here. We've got like wow and then whoa and then wow and then wow. <laughs> I, I, that, that could be a description of your energy at the moment. You might be quite a little bit up and down. You might be like, one day you're this, and then the next day you're that, and then the next day you're this, and the next day you're that. Like, so there's, and ideally we're in a kind of, we're undulating in a, a, a sort of a, a softer curve, you know, in the middle, where we're not touching the edges energetically. Let's see what we've got here, stagnation. Yeah, this is interesting. I'm really having, hmm, I'm having a bit of a challenge trying to gauge or connect with what this is. Let's take some more cards. But I can see and say for sure that you're going through some kind of up and down like that. That's a description of your energy at the moment. There's nothing wrong with that. We all go through that. And we are at the moment in eclipse season as well. So that could be fluctuating the energy or it could just be stuff that's going on around you. Um, let's see what's interesting that I've just pulled it out and I've looked as well. <laughs> like I didn't look at yours yet. Stability. Four of discs. Someone's holding on. Introspection, Prince of Cups. Okay, so that's quite nice. That is the Knight of Cups. And that's beautiful. So and we've got quite a lot of emotion here. We've got cups on the table and we've got fear. Look at that. So this is, and look at, look at how peaceful he is. So this is fascinating because I think at the moment you're, yeah, you're fluctuating, you're going through these big ups and, ups and downs. Is that related to this person? And I'm not, I'm not even sure I'm getting a person here. 
I'm kind of getting like disparate ideas or something or concepts. Hmm, this is interesting. All right, what am I going to do here? I think, well, we're all about getting real in this reading. So I want some Saturnian energy. What, what do we have? What's this? <laughs> is this a person that you are limerent over? Is, is this a person? Is this disparate ideas? Is this, what is this? I don't know if you can hear that sound. It's like a tap going at the moment. Knight of Pentacles. The universe is giving, like, is repeating. It's going, no, I've given you enough information. Okay, all right, I'll deal with it. <laughs> Leave it with me, universe. Let me see what I can do here. Um, I think this is a person. But who are they and what are they to you? Hmm. They're holding on, they're stagnant, they're resilient, they're working on their abundance. Tarantula. I kind of I'm getting that like I feel like I feel like you can't trust this person. And you don't know what they are like and that maybe you don't you, you have never had enough information maybe there is someone that you're interested in but you've just you've never had enough information to be able to judge who and what maybe there's somebody in your past that's just like a total mystery to you that like you wanted to know more about but you've never been able to it's because this is knight of pentacles this is like the slowest card in the deck and it's pentacles four of discs four of pentacles right holding on slow stagnation slow right so so maybe there's somebody in your world or somebody in your life that you you were interested in or that when this person comes around yeah mm, interesting oh I've got a dog barking in the background I don't know if you heard that yeah okay thank you dog barking I appreciate that all right I, I think I, I know what this is I think there's someone that maybe you were limerent over or something along those lines and you found them very interesting but you never got enough information about this person you you can't judge you can't really judge this person it's like and but that but that but something about this person coming into your life put your life into chaos it just like or when you're around them you feel like yeah oh, i totally get this yeah I really get this okay when this person comes into your life you feel like you feel oh my god you feel amazing but then oh my god you feel terrified and then you feel oh my god but this could be so amazing but oh I'm so terrified like there's this it just kind of this person this quite frankly stable steady person you know <laughs> god bless them it's just a hard-working good person right I'm not seeing but it's like look at the fear and look at that and what what this is showing to me is that you I think when when you are presented with some stable steady real good person for you maybe you freak out or something something like that gosh this is fascinating this is an interesting reading I like I could chat for a while but I, I can see that the time is ticking here oh very interesting group three there's something about this person that when you come in contact with them it just whoosh, it sends your energy like whoa like whoa you're excited oh my god but you're terrified like and that can be sometimes that can be like 
a significant, that can be a very significant person. But because you went a bit too, whoa, like crazy or something, um, maybe that's why it just, I don't know, it didn't happen or something. Mm. But I get the feeling that per this person's okay. They're just, they're just like, they're fine. <laughs> I wonder if they feel that way about you. I don't know. I don't know that. And I, I'm not going to get some cards out and spy on them because this is an Anna Runkle sort of tough love fairy type reading. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't think she would approve of us spying on this, this, this other person who we can't quite gauge, but they seem all right to me. <laughs> Let's have a look here. If you do not know how to handle yourself, then you are handling everything else only by accident. Yes, 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 group three. I completely understand. I know what this is. Um, the thermostat thing. I watched a video by one of these therapists online who talked about this concept of it's like somebody comes in to your world and they turn the thermostat right up and then they abandon you and then you're all cold. And it's like, yeah, it's so there's something about. So I would say, what you need, group number three, is you need boundaries and you need grounding. And just do that and you'll be fine. And then, you, and then you're in charge, okay? So you know how to re-regulate yourself. You can also do that through meditation, if you have a daily meditation practice. And I've got one on my tutorials uh, page on my website. Just go to my tutorials, type in OM free in capital letters and you can get that meditation tutorial free of charge. Um, that is interesting. Yeah. So you need you, what you need to do is get just take. It's about taking charge of yourself. That nobody can come in and have this effect on you or have this effect on your energy. You should be steady like a swan, right? You should be all the time. You can be. You can not. You should be. You should. I mean, you can be anything you want to be, <laughs> but you can be steady like a swan all the time, right? You can be in charge. You can be unflappable, unshakable, all that type of thing. Especially in the face of what could be potentially great love, you know? And maybe sometimes when presented with that, presented with someone who could be enormously loving, maybe you freak out. I know I've done that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's not great, is it? I know, I know, I know all this. Oh, all right, let's see what's in here. Promise me you'll always remember you're braver than you believe. Yes. And you're stronger than you seem and you're smarter than you think. Oh, that's a terrific way to finish this reading. Thank you, A.A. Meline. This is a great quote for you. And this is about that. This is just about you believing in yourself and you having faith and confidence in yourself. No more self-doubt. You trust yourself. Trust your own feelings. You don't need signs. You don't need tarot readings or any of that, really. I mean, it's fun, a bit of entertainment. You know, have a cup of tea, watch tarot reading. But uh, you, you're, you are braver than you believe. You are stronger than you seem. And you are smarter than you think. And the people that you attract are good, okay? But if it doesn't work out with this person, it doesn't matter. The universe always provides someone else it's it's fine group number three thank you so much for tuning in let me know how you got on in the comments below and i look forward to seeing you next time <laughs>